Humans have proven time and time again that they're capable of amazing things, and some not so amazing. These are the kinds of people who get themselves into situations that raise far too many questions and little to no answers, but we all know that anything weird or dumb can be just about the most entertaining thing to watch. Ready to take a look? Let's get it on! It's always best to use the right tool for the job. That sounds like the kind of wisdom your grandfather would pass on to you, but he'd be right. If you don't, you end up like this woman. Why are firemen carrying her toilet outside? And why is her arm attached to it? What? Because she had the bright idea to try and use her hand as a toilet plunger. These firemen clearly wish they were anywhere else. They still decided it was best to sledgehammer the toilet outside, though. Oh my god. Storms can be dangerous and difficult to navigate. That's why we mostly try to avoid driving in a storm at all costs. Still, if you're going to go out, look where you're going, or you might just end up like this guy. My question is, what the hell? No, I don't know how it happened, and for the record, the car isn't floating, even though that's definitely what it looks like. He just somehow managed to drive up a power line and get himself stuck there. That's not something you can just maneuver out of. We all had a moment in our childhood where we've been terrified by the idea of quicksand. Being sucked into the ground like that is a scary thought. Then we grow up and we decide that quicksand is a myth. <laughs> Until we learn that it's not. As this policeman learned, it's a very real danger and it can be hilarious to watch someone try and escape from it. <laughs> it's a good thing someone came along to help before he turned into a skeleton sticking out of the ground like in the movies. Let's face it, the people filming it would have never helped. Crossing the road safely is one of the first things your parents try to teach you. They have a good reason too, because adults get lazy and won't walk a few steps to the visible crosswalk. But before you attempt jaywalking, have a look at how that worked out for this guy. That's just about the worst place on earth to get stuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> and the worst position to get stuck in all at the same time. Two legs over a fence in the middle of a busy road. That was always a terrible idea. These days, if someone says they don't make them like they used to, they're probably right. There are plenty of things that are made on the cheap, but this basketball hoop definitely isn't one of them. Never has something so small been so strong. It holds this wriggling man in the air for so long without even a hint that it might break. It's incredible. How did he get there? I have no idea. I decided it was probably best to not ask too many questions. It just looks like one of those situations you don't want to know too much about. Every now and then, you'll see something and know instinctively that there's just no good explanation for what you're seeing. This man is here to give you the perfect example of that. <laughs> what possible reason could he have for trying to climb into the center of that clothesline? I bet he can't answer that. He just did it, and now his girlfriend will picture him in that position for the rest of her life. This video brings up so many questions. I just thought I should warn you. It's one of those things that you'll think about for days. This man is a thief, which is always a nice detail in stores like these because justice was served in the most unexpected way. He got stuck on this air conditioner while trying to steal cables. How did he get there? I have no clue, but what I do know is that he was stuck up there for 60 hours. More than two days on an air conditioner. They eventually saved him like this. <laughs> How did it take them two days to come up with that obvious solution? I bet the cops left him there to teach him a lesson. This woman is so lucky considering she somehow got herself stranded on top of her own car in a flood. I don't know how that could happen unless she'd been doing something careless. Still, the universe decided to pardon her and it let her escape her rapidly sinking car with her bag and then floated her gently downstream to waiting rescuers who sacrificed a lot to help her out. Sure, the car couldn't have done too well, but it could have been much worse. It's always a good idea to look where you're going when you're walking down the street. You can never predict what kind of weird obstacles are in your way and you definitely don't want to end up like this poor teenager. She was just walking to school when she got herself stuck in this grate. It went so far as to firemen with saws and hydraulic spreaders to free her after she had been thoroughly embarrassed just sitting there stuck in the road. There's a lesson to be learned here. Always step over the grate. Sometimes things look dumber than they actually are. This little girl is the perfect example of that. She's sort of stuck in a claw machine. Sure, but it wasn't an accident. She was clever enough to work out how the machine functioned and decided to take matters into her own hands and made sure she got the ball she wanted by going in and getting it, along with a few others since she was in there anyway. It was everyone around her that was worried. She knew what she was doing and was cool as a cucumber. 
We all have fond memories of days on the playground when we were kids. I totally understand wanting to recapture your youth, but some things are only enjoyed by kids for a reason. Because when you're an adult, things like this can and will happen to you. So if you're ever thinking that it's a good idea to try and have the kind of fun you had as a child, remember this and maybe just eat an ice cream cone instead. We all know that teenagers, more than any other age group, are really good at getting themselves into trouble. But even though you expect to see teens in weird or risky situations, you still have to wonder, how on earth did this girl get stuck in a baby swing? Okay, it's not a surprise that she's stuck, but how did she get into it in the first place? Boy. And why did she think she wouldn't get stuck? Hopefully, the exceptionally high level of embarrassment she experienced while the firefighters tried to help will stop her doing any more stuff like this. And this, that children, is why we don't mess around in baby swing. It comes as no surprise that you should never copy cartoons. Some people just don't get that, it seems. The problem is, you need to know where that line is or you end up like this guy. <laughs> Sure, cartoon characters get their tongues stuck to frozen poles all the time, but they aren't real. My tongue won't stick. Yeah, right. Now look at them. Cartoons do sometimes base their jokes on reality, dude. Good luck getting home. <laughs> Everyone loves a day on the beach, but don't be fooled. The ocean is a wild, untamable beast. You have to work around it because it won't look out for you. So if you're thinking of parking your car out on the beach and just leaving it there, for reasons nobody will ever understand, it would be a good idea to just check what time the tide is coming in. Otherwise, you'll end up with a very wet car and a lot of very annoyed people. Crime never pays. That's because there are so many things that can go wrong and most criminals are too dumb to stop and think of all the possible disasters that await them. This guy, for example, probably never imagined he'd be hung up by his pants for the police to catch him. He thought he'd grab the loot and run home without incident. That never happens. Just remember this guy next time you start thinking that a life of crime might be a good idea. It's always so satisfying to watch someone get themselves into a sticky situation if they're doing something they shouldn't be. This guy was trying to burgle this shop. What he didn't know was that the shop owner was so tired of being burgled that he'd set a trap. And this guy walked right into it. If he hadn't been breaking the law, this would have never happened to him. But justice is swift when you break into a booby-trapped store. And rightly so. I hope it happens to loads more unsuspecting criminals. Babies are cute because they're so little and curious. Those two things don't actually mix together so well though. It means that babies are inclined to get themselves into strange situations and they can also fit into a lot of surprisingly small spaces that they can't really get out of, like toilet bowls. This kid probably can't even remember how she got there in the first place. She's too busy wondering if she's going to have to live there for the rest of her life. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to get rid of